epic uh, intro that we do now. Ciao King, we got a bunch of different things. Okay, so there's some construction going on out there, unfortunately, right when we started filming. Hopefully it doesn't persist. Here we go. <gasps> ah, Pensehead. So it looks like some lo mein looking mofos going on here with some hot dogs, the Filipino style. Oh, yeah, they're very brown hot dogs. Oh, yeah, look at that, oh, it's so sausagey. But let's try this out, see what this is all about. Noodly, lettucey, hot doggy. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm digging a dog. Ducky, what do you think about that? <laughs> look at all these nudes. It doesn't seem very warm anymore, unfortunately. The best way to do these videos is to deliver, but delivery never is quite as good. Otherwise, if we don't deliver, we never have a good setup for the no. video. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. It's like some good like lo mein kind of like noodles. A lot of flavor. A lot of flavor. A lot better than the noodles we had on the airplane. Oh yes. A lot better. <laughs> wow. Yeah. The hot dogs in it is weird. This is the only flavor I got at the end. All the noodles for the first flavor. And then hot dogs are the rest. And you know what they say in the Philippines? What you, do they say? You add a hot dog and uh... Somebody say hot dogs? Yes I did. Do you like those? Where? Uh, in this pot or in this? Go. There's no hot dogs left! Wait. Look, look, at, look at how sli thinly sliced that is. That is a very, that's a floppy boy. So thin. All right, next. You get a bowl. Bowl boy, bowl boy, bowl boy. And I get a, I don't know what shape you would call that. It's a bit chipped, or I don't know if that's- It's not intention. smooth. It's a handcrafted plate, yeah. probably. Yeah, all right. Gonna go with the Chow King oh, man. chicken. These things are breaded. This just a thing of hunk of rice. You know what you have to do when you get this rice, right? Yes. Oh, it's not as firm as the Jollibee no. ones. Oh, Jollibees give you straight up bricks. And when they're, when they're brick form, all you gotta do... Wow. Oh my god. This looks like really good breading. Our fingers what are part of the chicken is this? Um, Can you identify? I think that's the tailbone. Dink it and zink it. <laughs> Oh, it tastes like um, it has like a Chinese um breading on it. It's very juicy. Do you? It is juicy. Okay. I like that. It's kind of sweet, randomly. That's a very crunchy part. Now the fingers are greasy. Sick. Oh my god! Yeah, can. Chicken, get out of here, bro. All right, what other main courses do we have? We have, I got us both a. PCF. PCR test? Yes, we're finally getting COVID tested. We got into the Philippines without one. When we got to the border, they were like, you guys have to get a PCR test. And we're like, crack you. We and then we, we went. And these are the, I don't remember what it was called. Just know what PCF means, please. It's their like rice thing. Uh, planet, circular, flat. I like it. <laughs> Let's try this pork something. I'll... Nice, I like it. Some nice fried rice or? There's some flavor that touched my tongue right away. Was it pork? It was! Ooh! I really like this one. You can also get toppings on it, but we got the toppings as sides instead because we're that cool. So So if we want to, you know, get it a little bit crazy, we'll throw them all in at the end. Challenge? And we got to eat it all in one bite. That's a challenge. Oh wait, this will be the one bite challenge. One bite challenge. <laughs> Look at the girth on that, I can't even fit my fingers I hope it. we choke and die. We might. Let's move on to the sides. Let's start with some, they look like fried dumplings. These packages are so mysterious, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, they're just blank fried dumplings. This looks like a fish almost. It's got scale, or gills. You ready to eat this fish? Yes. Ow. What? You gotta love it. I feel like fried dumplings will never be pan fried dumplings though. It doesn't add as much as you'd hope for pan no. fried. No, kind of makes it airy. Next, Shanghai Olympia. He's got some. Funky inside looking. It looks yeah. like a. It looks like a, a chili. Oh, ready to Shanghai this thing all the way to China? Oh, here we go. Well, it's not crunchy anymore. Oh, this inside is now a lighter brown color. Mm. It's pretty juicy. It's pretty juicy. Pretty solid though. It does taste good. I enjoy it. We haven't yet, yet tasted Filipino water's ability to uh, do the whirlpool technique. Oh, vortex time. Finally, how does it how does it work? That sounded like a good gulper. It's pretty solid. Better than the India ones, at least. India, step up your game. All right, next are these things. Dim sum, I think they're called, or something like that. They are these. 
These look like the Shao Mai. Shao Mai, maybe that's are they, what these are. Like a fried version of it, then? I don't know, but let's put it in our mouths and find out. Wow! Okay. It's like a fried dumpling, but it wasn't without the air inside. It took, I don't know why, but it took me so long to get to the flavor. I took like uh, my first like five bites were just no flavor, and then all of a sudden the dumplings, came, the inside came out. Tasty. Better than the fried dumplings, I think. I agree, I agree. Some fried beef. More it was just a slab of beef that's fried. Too. That would be pretty tasty. Come on, why do they tape only this one? Is the fried True. beef sacred? These look darker? Oh, they're much squishier. Oh, they're greasy too. Look at Grease Master. Here we go. Look like no crunch. No, it's just squish. Don't mind the siren in the background. Tastes good. Tastes very good. Not as good as the second dumpling offering thing. It literally didn't even have like a outside covering. It literally was just like a thin layer. So that's all the side offerings. Bun. Not really bun. Jeez. Do you like what you're seeing? I do indeed. It's a bun. Wow, amazing. Hopefully no wrapper. Whoa. Whoa, there's some pink in there. Pretty good. It doesn't have a ton of taste, really. The outside's really thick. And if it's made out of like rice or something like that, I can't imagine it would be like- You taste a lot of bun. Super flavorful. Tastes a lot of bun. Oh. The bun oh. tastes good though. That's what the red is. It's like little pepperoni sausages. Weird. It's pretty good. I'm not complaining. The red version. Wow, look at how red that is. Oh. Oh boy. There's liquid inside. What is that? Is it like a sweet and sour thing? Oh. It was definitely sweet. And it's some sort of sweet beef. Is it like the Jollibee sweet beef then? Whoa, it's really sweet. But then there's like the big beef chunks in there. Yeah, it's kind of like that sweet beef at Jollibee. And now the final offering, the Duker head. I think you're supposed to use these for these, these sauces, sweet and sour sauce. But we are doing food challenge. Food challenge time. Can we fit this entire thing? For a size comparison, it covers the mouth. So uh, I don't know if this is gonna go well. Wish us luck. I'm activating bowl below mouth mode. Hopefully it doesn't taste terrible. <laughs> True, it will have a full mouthful. No way. No way. Oh no, he's going for it. <gasps> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. My mouth isn't big enough. It almost touched my uvula and made me throw up. <laughs> oh, gross. Well, it's more like the other ones. I've destroyed the, the shave, unfortunately. <laughs> it's like the other one. <coughs> like sweet beef inside. I don't really know. What's the difference? Yeah, why was that one? Was this just a one order and now it's a three order, maybe? It's very possible. Oh, the dessert. These may or may not have fallen on the ground. Yeah, all and of them, I literally. Just, I stubbed my toe and then I grabbed the table and then I hit the box. We do have these two that didn't fall on the ground. It smells like a mini donut. It have to be delicious. Oh. Whoa. Look at that. It does not taste like a mini donut. I have the same consistency. What the heck is this inside? I don't know. Very gelatinous. And the top of mine was crunchy, and the bottom was super chewy. Pretty good. Nice sweetness to them, a nice texture. The texture's really nice. It is. It's weird. The top is crunchy, and the bottom is just the like rice cake or whatever. Then like the sesame seeds add a little more. <laughs> it's pretty good. Those are a nice dessert to finish this off. Yeah, I think the best thing was this rice. Oh, look at this. And then the the one chow mai that was crunchy was good too. You can get those on top of this as a side. Oh. So that's what I would have got. And then the lumpia was also pretty good. The other dumplings were good as well. These buns were pretty good. Not my favorite thing ever, but they were pretty decent. I like the one, the first one we tried the best. The one that wasn't the... The sweet beef stuff? Yeah. But uh, overall, chow king. Pretty good. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one. Have a chow in day. Have a be everyone kill be kings. Kings. <laughs> Bye. We forgot the most important part of the oh, meal. The cracker. Tiny little cracker thin boy. I hope it's fishy. It smells maybe fishy. Whoa. You better say that's the best thing we've eaten all day. If styrofoam is the best thing we've eaten all day, I would be <laughs> <laughs> Sounds delicious. <laughs>